Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome if you're new to my channel. I do a lot of uh, journaling and unboxings and planning videos. So if that interests you, please stick around and have a look at a few videos. I'm a bit eclectic in my nature. I love um, neutral classics and I love pastel kawaii. So, uh, you know, a bit of everything. This is an order from Sterling Inc. So I thought I would walk you through what I have in here. Um, very excited to check this out. So we've got this little set of stickers from Sterling Inc. I think this is, it says June Collection Freebie. Very pretty little stickers there. They're adorable, really lovely. So what I have in here is a notebook and some covers. So let's go through. Uh, the notebook first. This is a standard size notebook, as in Traveler's Notebook standard size. And you can see it's in the mauve color. I also have, from a previous order, the passport size. And we'll look at those again in a bit more detail shortly. This has the gold edges, which are stunning. Oh, it's so beautiful. And it's just a grid notebook. I shouldn't say just, should I? Because grid notebooks are the best. It is a grid notebook uh, from Sterling Inc. It has Tomorrow River paper. They've got the dots there to divide the page into three if you needed to. And that's it. That's all there is to it. It's a 260 page one. I also have the passport in 260 pages, but I also bought the passport in the 520 pages as well, which is super, super chunky. You can see here, I've got a cover on this, this little passport. And so what I've got here, is a cover for the chunky one, the 520. So let's pop that on. I just feel like protecting the covers is a good idea. Um, just makes sense to me. I don't really like the corners getting all torn up. And if I'm gonna throw this in a bag or whatever, I don't actually know what I'm gonna use these for at the moment. Originally my passport ones, I wanted to put into my passport TN, but they're just a little bit too big for them. They don't quite fit. Um, I've got a video showing you that, um, which is fine, um, which makes it all the more reason why I needed the clear covers to go on them. So that all fits quite nicely. It's a little bit um, tight to start with, but that'll wear in no problem. So I've got those two, which are fabulous. I also have a cover for the standard size one. Um, but first, let's, I've got my two standard TNs here, my camel and my black. I'm gonna use the black because I think it goes more, goes nicely with the mauve. Hmm. I think this is a bit warm and this is quite cool. So it doesn't matter though, does it? I'm only testing it out at this point. So I might just take, these out of here so I'll pop those to the side and I'll put this one on now normally they recommend putting it with the cover on so that you can string the cover through the elastic but just for me to check the size I'm just going to use the book I'll just do it gently see that feels super good so nice when I try to fit it in, fit the passport ones inside the passport notebook, they just don't fit. I'm going to show you because I really want to see um, the difference. So if I grab this little passport guy and pop him under here, I really want to use this for everyday journaling. So you can see it's quite nice there at the front, but at the back there's a bit of hangover. It's not huge and I could just not be a baby about it, <laughs> but I will put washi and stuff, even though it's personal journey, journaling, which at the moment I don't really decorate. I just put a little bit of PET tape down on each page uh, and I do that in advance. I don't know, it's just a bit too tight for me. And also you wouldn't be able to put any other inserts in there even if you wanted to. Uh, well, you could, of course, they'll just stick out. So. I kind of don't really want to go down that path. So that's a bit disappointing. 
But what I find is the standard size just is a bit bigger all round than the book, which is fantastic because you can fit things like this in. Again, I don't know if I'm going to end up putting this in here, but, but let's try it with the cover on as well, just to make sure um, that it fits. Now these are, as if I haven't said this already, these are just standard um, simple covers just to cover the book. They don't have any pockets or anything in them, but you could stick those Hobonichi secretarial pockets to these if you wanted to. And there are other, many other pockets you can get um, from lots of places as well that would fit in there. Let me know if you um, need to find any. I can help you out with that. But we'll just pop this on. So they're always just a bit snug when you first get them, but you can just wear them in. And then with the cover, yeah, it fits perfectly with the cover as well. No problem at all. So if you just wanted to have just this one notebook on its own, it would be totally fine. Let's try it with the notebooks. So I have here, um, let's just use this, this one, which I've set up as my, as just for notes. Um, I'm just waiting on, actually it's arrived. I'll film it in a second video. Um, the month, the weekly insert for this planner. So if I just found approximate half, like I said as well, I I will, if I do do this, I will put it, the elastic inside the cover rather than over the pages. But just for demonstration purposes, I'll just do it this way. So we have our two books joined together. It's a bit uneven because one is much, much thicker than the other, but that's okay. And if we put all that together, it still fits. You can see the plastic hanging out. So you may not need the cover, the plastic cover, if you're inside of this beautiful TN, but that does fit. And it fits quite nicely as well. Like it's not terrible. So you can see here the papers are being pulled apart, which I think could hurt the spine. So they recommend putting this elastic between the cover and the book instead, which is what I would do if I was to put this in here. But regardless, I really love this Traveler's Notebook standard size size, if you like. So the, um, see I've, I've caused that to be separated there now already. So I like this size page, like this height and width is really nice. It's kind of easy to um, to write in, I find. It's quite good. I've got these pages almost coming apart there on that one, the stitching. It's just a bit torn there. That's not where I put the, the binder through either, it was through here. So... Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this notebook. It's pretty cool. And the, like I said, the size is nice. I really enjoy both of these sizes just for, for very different reasons. I like the small personal journaling I can do in something this small. Like I'm, that's what I'm doing now for, in my Passport TN. Um, so they look so good together, don't they? Anyway, one more thing to show you, which is this cover, which is a B6 cover. But you don't have a B6 notebook, Desley, I hear you say. That's so true. But what I do have is my Paper Test Designs yearly notebook. And you can see it's already got dirt on the back of it. It's a funny texture. I love this book. but um, And the cover is super soft. But it, to me, it just feels dirty all the time. I actually wiped it, like used a baby wipe when I first got it just to clean it off because I thought it was... Like I thought it had dirt sort of in it, but it's just the way that it feels. And other people have touched it and they said it's amazing. <laughs> like it feels amazing. But to me, it just feels a bit strange. But, you know, I don't hate it. Like I, I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm hanging out for the 2024 release. So they make a cover for it, but it's made by Catspresso. And you can buy it from Paper Des Test Designs for delivery in the UK um, and you can buy it from Catspresso for delivery in their region but they don't do in Australia. For some reason Catspresso doesn't ship to Australia. 
which upsets me because I love her covers with the with the florals and things on them um, but it's okay <laughs> so I thought I would try this sterling ink cover which is a bit tight already uh, in terms of this way but it shouldn't be because it's just b6 and sterling ink makes a b6 notebook as well okay so first side on I suspect this second side is going to be difficult now I did buy the 520 page version so she has a b6 notebook that's 520 pages just like that passport one was so I thought that would be the best size for me for this book because this is the full year notebook so let's see hoping hoping that it fits perfectly or even not quite perfectly <laughs> I don't mind a bit of wabi-sabi in my life okay you can see it's super um, tight fit there but some of the others so I'm just gonna try to maneuver it into place and see if it can kind of just work its way in work its way around oh we have a lay flat planner okay it sticks up there at the front but I think that will will sort itself out over time it's just like these ones like this one still sticks up a little at the front just because it's a bit tight it's brand new but um yeah this these others seem to be okay so I think they'll I think it'll wear its way I could get the hairdryer onto it just to kind of give it a bit of a stretch but I reckon if I just pop that oh, it looks much better already if I was to just put that under some books or something, I think it would be okay. And it feels much better having the cover on it. I just feel like I'm gonna get it dirty all the time if I don't have the cover on it. Oh, it's great. So today's June, I don't know, middle of June sometime. Uh, and I'm gonna start using this in July. So I'll be setting this up very, very soon for work. This was going to be my work planner. Okay, let's put that to the side and take a quick final look at my little sterling ink order, my standard size TN book, my passport size chunky book, and my passport size, let's call it regular book. These two are both 260 pages. This one is 520 pages. All of them with the clear cover on. And remember, these two clear covers are different. You have to buy a 260 or a 520, depending on which one you want. And they're all in the mauve with the gold edges. You can also get um, a different color. I think it's black, but I'm not certain now. Anyway, I think they're great. And I love, you know me, I love paper, I love notebooks. So I'm always happy to have extras around. And uh, stay tuned to see how I use all of these bits and pieces. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.